back in 1988, riding through Mississippi on that tired old interstate. I pulled off on the exit, saw that big yellow sign. That's wobble, 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 <laughs> race to mind. Yes, friends, I was in the Waffle House. The truck drivers were boasting. The riddle was riddling. The toaster was toasted. With the tattoo on her arm, I knew the waitress's name was Peggy. The cook looked kind of scrambled and he said, You can call me Eggy. Scrambled, Eggy, Eggy scrambled. The gin box played Hank Jr. and then it played Proud Mary. The iced tea was sweet and Peggy's arms were hairy. Been a rough down the road, my nerves were mighty jangled. I got a double order of hash browns, smothered, covered, beaten cake, file drive, figure four, leg like holy onions, baby doll, and strangled. Here we go. Suddenly out of the kitchen, there was a scream and a terrible roar. Flames belched from the swinging orange door. Peggy, our waitress, on a foolish juvenile bet, had been playing with her chicken with her lighter and a big can of final net. <laughs> the hairspray can erupted like nuclear sterno, turning the kitchen into one big food additive inferno. Peggy the cook screamed and gave a horrible last gasp as his polyester pants dissolved in a molten double digit mass. <laughs> The micro countertop bubbled and began to swell. Was there no way out of this 24 hour breakfast hell? Constructors were screaming, truck drivers were praying, the griddle was grinning, and Proud Mary kept on a plan. The coffee pot exploded in a sea of hot java. The waffle sir oozed away to the nurture sweeted lava. When the firemen arrived, they found everybody dead. Under two tons of blackened raisin toast and a river of locale, I can't believe that ain't butter spread. <laughs> and every now and then, late at night down the road, I'll be coasting. I hear the griddle grilling and the toaster toasting. Smell the burning smell of a separate and recap tire. And my mind will kind of wander back in time. That's my mind wandering back to that Hattiesburg, Mississippi Waffle House fire. The moral of this story being that, young man, if God had meant for you to eat waffles, well, he probably would have given you lips like snowshoes. Down in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. This song I've been told is actually uh, a, a song very popular with the um, one of the first pe groups of people that ever sent me a fan letter was because of this next song. Again, laugh if you want, this is my life. I got a letter from a cross-dressing support group that said that they liked this song because it, it laughed with them and not at them. And